Hi, I'm James. Hi, I'm Kyle. Hi, I'm Harry. Hi, I'm Patrick. Hi, I'm Luke. Hi, I'm Alice. Hi, I'm Safi. Hi, I'm Darcy. Hi, I'm Dylan. Hi, I'm Ollie. Hey guys, we're the Peer Mentor Group, and what are your ideas about the transition? So our idea was, look, we'd help the Year 6s move up into Year 7, and we'd make it smoother by maybe going visiting them in their primary schools so they know who we are, and they know that they've got someone to talk to in our year, so they can like, you know, talk to us about issues they're having, or just talk to us in general. When the Year 6s are... Or... Just before that, they, they have uh, this sort of little kit where they can get a bunch of to uh, stuff out, you know, play with it, have lots of fun, and it's uh, good for social interaction. So we thought we could recreate that, uh, to, and we could make it over here so the Year 6s can have something to relate to when they come up here. Yeah, yeah all that. And uh, it's good, it's good. Yeah, because yeah. um, items for activities can be good for helping people uh, work together and social interaction, which can help a lot of people make different friends instead of just hanging with the same foot social group they've been with since they were in primary school. Also, like, when you're doing activities, it does take your mind off all the stress of moving up to a new school, you know, you're distracted by that sport. And it makes you happy by doing enjoying what you want. it. It makes you happy by doing what you like to do. Exactly. We were going to do drop-ins, weren't we? Because, yeah. like, yeah. so people could come in and they could, like, visit us and talk to us in private. Like 1v1. We could also. 1v1. Because some people don't like talking to teachers because they find they, it they scary. Can, they can talk to us because we've also been through the same thing. Yeah. Well, like, we're kind of like their friend and we're there to kind of like support them and whatever they're doing. But we're not like a teacher, we are actually their yeah. friend. We're not just going to say, yes, you've got to do that. Yeah. Riley! Jack! I heard stories that all the year 11s would like put pens in your ears and stuff, <laughs> but actually none of that ever happens. In fact, most of them are really nice. Yeah. Or, or the, the, the things they say about you um, bag yeah. and trucking a tree. Yeah, oh, that never, never, never happens. happens. Never. The playground's like one of the most positive parts of the school. Like, it's where you socialise. It's the best part of the day. And it's the best time is when you get away from the teachers. Yeah. <laughs> I was sort of worried what it was going to be like, but then after the first week it was fine. Yeah. So you do get over it eventually, but yeah. it's just that first week that we could support them and help them. They could also feel like anxious because they don't know any of the teachers, so they might not like a teacher or, or they might look, they might feel like they're scary. I mean, that's why they could be able to come to us and then speak to us about their problems because we're not like a teacher that they don't know or such. Yeah, and to be intimidated by year 11s or like just in general older people because it's not when you're in primary school you you go from being like the big fish in a small pond to the small fish in a big pond and it's just a complete different kind of change. It's sort of like giving people something that we didn't have when we came up because when we came up um, and people who came in half of really we didn't get any of this sort of help or we didn't get to talk to people that we knew about. It was generally just a... Uh, you got to find people that you have something in common with or just generally and it took a while for some people and it didn't take a while for others because they have a similar social group so if we can give them something that we didn't have then it can be it's all the better isn't it the clubs you can do at school are football basketball rugby tennis, cricket, and a range of other activities. Doing activities can make new friends when you're transitioning from primary school to secondary school. Our oh, music department doesn't only mean that you can have lessons within your timetable, you can also have out of timetable clubs where it's a great opportunity to meet new people. Joining in with, like music clubs or sport clubs or something, because lots of people did that like a lot in primary schools, it kind of like helps you like relate to your primary school so it's not like a quick sudden change, like there's still like some bits that are the same. Also it helps you get active while 
you know, making new friends and enjoying playing sport or music. It's okay to ask questions and it's okay to like speak to people, like to not be afraid. And like being yourself is accepted, like everyone accepts everyone else usually and there's nothing to be ashamed of at all or afraid of at all. But it is okay to be worried about it. They don't yeah, have to like, it's perfectly normal. Everyone yeah. has felt or still feels the same as what you're going through. Because everyone has to go through it at some point in their life. You should speak about your problems and not like keep them inside and make like um like a problem shared is a problem halved and then like and that actually they're saying is actually like real because um it does make a difference when you tell someone. And also trying to not let like your emotions like overcome like how you're like living your life. Like to speaking to somebody so it's sort out so it doesn't like stop you from sleeping, stop you from being happy in general. When you are happy it can make other people happy so you're yeah. like you're building like sort of like a knock on effect. If you feel nervous about something, it's completely fine. Uh, it's a natural emotion that everyone feels when they're in a situation where they don't understand what's going on, or they're in a new situation altogether. But to just to know that everyone else understands what you're going through, um, we understand what you're going through sometimes, and it's okay to feel like that. And also, it's like human for you to feel bad, but like if you bottle it up and pretend that everything's okay, then it's just gonna make your life worse. If you talk about it, then it'll make you happy in general. It's also pretty good to be nervous because the best things in life happen when you're even slightly nervous because you have that whole build up of emotions and stuff, but when you actually do it or you achieve or whatever, then it feels so much better than it would if yeah. it was just a normal everyday thing. You gotta go out of your comfort zone to explore the good stuff. Yeah. Good things. Everyone feels nervous, it's normal. Join some clubs and get out of your comfort zone. And keep moving on up.